Well, I've had a had a pleasant stay in uh, Wicumba Creek. It's uh, it's blowing uh, 20 to 25 from the northwest, which is an onshore breeze, and uh, I uh, came in here because uh, it's the best place to be in the whole of the uh, Sandy Straits. Yeah, the bar looks fairly rough today, but uh, nothing compared with what it was yesterday, and uh, we shall be able to go out. I think. Yeah, this uh, here is the prime spot. Uh, if you're camping, you park your boat down there, uh, fore and aft. And this is your uh, campground up here. There's plenty of room. If you came with a trailer or sailor or a couple of you, you know, you could bring your camping gear and uh, camp on the island, you know, some of you and some in the boat probably. You know, we've always fitted our four people on the boat, but, uh, you know, we were... Uh, I wouldn't like to fit my two teenagers and uh, the four of us on now when they're teenagers on a 20 foot boat. I think I would bring the camping gear and they could have some, uh, can do their techs and everything over here and start, start to drive me bonkers on the boat. That's the walkway to the other side of the, of the island and to the beach. So we'll go through there and have a look. Well, it looks pretty ordinary out here today, but uh, it's not blowing very hard. It's only blowing like 10 knots, I reckon, at the moment. And uh, the channel actually, you know, you see the white water, that's the sandbank, but just beyond the sandbank, uh, there's no breaking waves down the channel, basically. So uh, we'll have a good run out. We're making our way back to uh, into the sandy straits from uh, Tumba Creek now. We've been going about an hour and a half now and we are going into a southerly so it's tacking all the way. I reckon it's going to go around to a northerly so I'm going to take her along the shore route uh, along Fraser Island uh, And uh, it's just a more scenic route than going right over the other side. And uh, this is at the moment my making tack, so I'm going to uh, keep going this way. I'll have to tack in a minute. We're in 5.8 meters of water. And uh, as soon as it gets down a touch more, I'm going to tack and go out for about an hour, about half an hour, and then I'll uh, tack again. We're coming up to uh, Kungal Creek on the point there now, and uh, it's now two o'clock. Yeah, we, we're about a mile past Kungal Creek on the way to Moon Point, and there's a sandbank on, you know, on this side of the boat, and uh, and the shore's over there. We're not going very fast at the moment, we're only doing 2.3 knots, so I thought I'd just take this before I uh, turn the engine on. I went round Moon Point and uh, it gets a bit shallow there, so I lift the keel halfway. Had a full main up in the jib and of course, just as I'm about to go over the sandbank, I get a squall. <clears throat> anyway, I managed to uh, just keep it on the run through the sandbank and then uh, put it on autopilot and just get their centerboard down as quick as I could. Anyway, we survived that. Made me, uh, made me heart uh, race a bit. Anyway, we're on our way down the uh, sandy straits and uh, it's kind of funny weather. It's going to blow quite hard from the uh, northwest and there's nowhere on the uh, northwest to uh, anchor. So, uh, I'm going to go up the Mary River up uh, to Riverhead, but I may go all the way to the town, I, I don't know yet. Well, I'm out the Mary River now, which I'm very grateful for. It's always a 
bit nervous when you're down to a uh, meter of water but uh, now we're sailing now and I'm heading off down the Sandy Straits south just gonna jibe around this mark here and uh, go on down to Ongawa I'm just servicing my leg at the moment on the uh, boat and uh, as you can see there's sand as far as you can see on the uh, internet I uh, saw that if you coated your propeller in egg white and let it dry it, uh, it was quite a good anti-fouling so I tried it on the way up anyway with quite good success you know uh, two months not a thing on it so I'm gonna try it down in the Brisbane River and then I'll uh, let you know well the tide's coming up fairly quickly now and uh, I reckon I'll be afloat in about another 20 minutes I'll be heading out this way and carrying on down the sandy straits towards Gary's Anchorage and uh, towards the Wide Bay Bar. Well, I'm going for a walk on Fraser Island. Uh, I'm at Gary's Anchorage and I uh, got up at six this morning and uh, I've come, you know, I hope to do about a five mile walk. And, uh, you know, I've been on the boat uh, a few days now and uh, feeling a bit lethargic. It's been very hot. I've been reading books and, uh, you know, you think, oh, too hot to do anything. Anyway, anyway, it's been a great, great walk and uh, gets, gets my heart going anyway, so that's the main thing. And uh, over here is a beautiful... There's the, uh, the water of Gary's Anchorage and the kind of wetlands between the uh, mangroves and uh, this road I'm walking along. I've been walking along this trail and I've seen quite a few dead dog trees. You know, do you want to know what a dead dog tree is? That's a dead dog tree, this one here. It's got no bark. Well, I've found fresh water, I'd say it's about six inches deep, and uh, beautifully clean. But uh, I was hoping for a nice little clear area where I could sit in and have a spa, but it doesn't seem to be going to ha happen. Well, with my trusty little stick, I've made myself a nice little hole here into the stream, and I'm going to sit down there and... Uh, have a tub. Well this is the view from my uh, little tub. Yeah, it's a way to escape <laughs> the Queensland heat. Yep, yeah. if I, uh, it gets too hot today I'm, I'm coming, gonna come and uh, bring a book and uh, come and sit in here. Well, I'm just tidy myself up. Yeah, you know, as you get older, you know, it's harder to put your shoes on. It's harder to stand on one foot. Anyway, I've got my shoes on, got my bag packed, off back to the boat. Yeah, pulled the keel and the rudder up uh, here in Gary's Anchorage because I, uh, I was hoping that I would blow into the wind and get more uh, get more uh, ventilation downstairs, but it's not working. I'm uh, very hot today. I spent most of the time down, downstairs uh, reading a book. Well, I left that. I've left Gary's Anchorage and I'm just heading on down the uh, Sandy Straits, just under the main. Looking forward, it's just a pretty overcast day, which is very good for sailing. And uh, 
I'm gonna point on down there in about the center of the screen. There is uh, where are the entrance to uh, Tin Can Bay is, and uh, we'll go. I'll uh, when I'm down there, I'll uh, we'll uh, go up to Tin Can Bay, and I'll put some fuel in so that I've, at the moment I've only got uh, probably 12 hours of motoring and. I'm heading into uh, Tin, Tin Cam Bay today, and uh, and that's where we're going into uh, the uh, the river, the entrance, the river, the uh, Tin Cam Bay is round the corner, and that's the uh, sailing club and the VMR there on the end. This is the first thing you see as you come in. There's the Tin Cam Bay Yacht Club, then there's uh, Tin Cam Bay houseboats. There's your launching ramp. Marina. I had a nice uh, cup of coffee in the bar and grill and uh, I'm gonna uh, go back to the boat now. I've got some diesel on the, on the uh, fuel wharf and it's putting me dinghy and uh, tap some fuel in the dinghy and uh, I'm heading off now back down to the boat. This is uh, the extent of Tin Can Bay basically. There's quite a big trawler fleet here and, uh, and then there's a little marina with some large boats in and you just carry on down and uh, the rest are uh, people that hire out houseboats. Well, we survived that uh, thunderstorm and uh, I managed to retrieve my dinghy and uh, I had to, uh, it just ripped the eyes completely out of the front of the dinghy there. So uh, I've gone onto the handles on the side and put a little bit of extra rope on. Like that and I'll see how that goes. I'm heading on down towards uh, 
in skip point now because uh, I'm probably going to go out tomorrow morning on the tide. At the moment I've uh, it's wind against the tide but I've got about a knot and a half a tide I reckon underneath me so if I don't go net come now in the morning I'll have a knot and a half against me. I prefer to have it with me and just uh, go through this slot. Well, I'm um, anchored at the mouth of Tinkham Bay. Uh, this is the Sandy Straits and uh, center of the screen's the Green Boy. And that's the uh, end of Fraser Island over there and uh, on this side is uh, Inskip Point. I'm hoping to go out tomorrow morning and what it's saying at the moment we're going to have uh, a westerly wind so it's starting to go around to the west now I just pray it goes around a bit more otherwise I'm going to have a rough night yeah I went up to Tinkham Bay and uh, you know like a Tinkham Bay report uh, if you're in a trailer sailor and you can dry out a uh, very good place to go if you're uh, if you can't dry out and uh, bounce on the bottom when boats go by uh, you know as you take the ground I think you're better off uh, giving it a miss because you've got to anchor way out and uh, it's a long dinghy ride in and uh, there's not a lot in Tinkham Bay yeah, the marina's really nice I went in there just to get some fuel to be honest and it was blowing really hard and it was easier to go in the dinghy and get the fuel and uh, go into a marina where I'm not sure where the fuel uh, berth is and uh, and uh, try and get alongside on my own. So that was the, you know, I, I anchored off and, uh, and, uh, and went in in the dinghy. I'm uh, heading off now through the, uh, I came out of uh, Tinkan Bay and came down uh, with the tide and it was blowing about 20 knots from the north and I uh, don't recommend that to, to anybody. Uh, in 20 knots from the north it's uh, very steep seas uh, you know up to right up to the uh, to the entrance uh, with, the, with the tide going out against the wind so no I wouldn't I wouldn't do that again and uh, I would have stayed in there the night but I thought no no I'll get out and come into uh, come out here and uh, go and anchor over the other side and uh, with a light north westerly wind of 15 knots that would be okay but any, anyway I've I ended up anchoring just be, uh, for the green mark uh, as you enter Tinkan Bay in about 6 meters of water and uh, it, I had a very good night here you know the, the, the sandbanks afford you a bit of protection from the northerlies and now it's a westerly you know it's, it's flat calm here and uh, not flat calm but near enough and uh, today I'm off, uh, uh, just just got everything ready and I'm uh, going to head out through the Wide Bay Bar. I'm going to go a couple of hours early uh, from high tide. Anyway, I'm going to go now and uh, I don't know if I'm going to head on, see what the wind's like when I get out there. I'll either go behind Double Island Point for the night, which I'm not very uh, want, uh, want to do, or I'll uh, carry on to uh, Brisbane. and. Uh, go and meet up with my family at the weekend. I think it's about 60, 60, 70 miles to Brisbane. I'm not sure, I haven't looked it up yet, but I know I'll arrive in, in the dark. Or maybe early tomorrow morning, because uh, we're leaving fairly late. It's now, uh, I think about 10 o'clock. <laughs> 